by about 10 years old, I'd done about 100 television commercials and 35 voiceovers. I sang and danced. I was on Broadway. I had enough money. Uh, I can't say I'd have made, you know, millions of dollars, but I had enough money for a, a young single girl living in Manhattan to do kind of whatever I wanted to do. Studio 54 days, we're talking clubs and nightclubs. They would usher us in because we were on TV and, you know, I, I walked the red carpet. I did all of that stuff. I, I dated celebrities, but uh, still there was that void inside of me. I began doing drugs kind of on a regular basis. Eventually, I ended up in two rehabs. Um, the first one, I was still convinced that just because I, you know, I did drugs, I could still drink. Um, so I had to learn that the hard way and end up in another rehab. I remember that night in the rehab intake room when I said, God, you know, I, I need you. I had to find out who God was. So I began searching. Um, I, Buddhism, Taoism, I read all sorts of things, self-help books. But the funny thing is, every time I earnestly prayed, God, you know, I just want to know the truth, a Christian would show up. And uh, I really didn't like Christians very much. I, I kind of thought they were sort of, I don't know, Bible-thumping, judgmental sort of people. Except I had a problem. My brother um, had become born again and I just watched his life change. But he never preached at me. He just lived his life as an example. And one day I was sitting at the table with my brother and I said, I don't really understand, but I'm a house in the country. I have a great career. I, I'm dating a rock star and I'm still not happy. He looked up from his newspaper and he said, well, maybe you need to get saved. <laughs> and I looked at him and I thought about it for a moment and I said, nah, no. That's not for me. I went to see the movie, The Beauty and the Beast. And uh, in that movie, love changes the beast. And I remember thinking about this on the way home, how that sort of touched something in me. And that night when I got home, I got on my knees and I asked God, I said, God, just, you know, zap me, do whatever you do, but I'm, I'm open and I'm willing when I just basically decided to cross that line and allow Jesus specifically to come into my heart. And in that moment alone in my bedroom, I just remember that feeling of the peace. When I was on my spiritual quest for truth, I was just looking to fill the void. And um, I read a lot of things and a lot of different books and a lot of different kinds of religion, but they just didn't, nothing really filled that, that void in my heart. And that's what I was really looking for. I was looking to, to find peace and contentment. And there wasn't anything but, but Christ that offered that to me until I found Christ, until I had that experience for myself. Um, it was almost like fitting a round peg in a square hole. I've always had that um, desire from the day I got saved, just to tell people uh, what happened to me and to just, to, just to explain that, hey, you know, if you have a hole in your heart and you feel the way I do, I know the answer, you know, Christ, Jesus Christ can fill that void for you if you let him, if you surrender.